Greetings viewers. In my last video, I left you with the paradox of asynchronous change in the time when the human beings are experiencing a period of massive transformation, maybe some of the most significant transformations to affect us as a species ever. All our political systems seem to be headed in the wrong direction. They're going back to the past. They're trying to recreate, reinvent, go back to something that they say is real, only it's not real and it never was real in the first place. It's a fiction, it's a story about security and safety and solidity, and it's not going to work. And that's an immense contradiction that every polity on the planet has to face. Now there's one extremely important exception to this universal revanchism that we see in every country, every polity, every society on the planet today. And the exception has grown only more exceptional over the years. It started out as a small exception, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the space of interactive media, specifically video game culture. Video game culture is, this is an overused word, but I'm going to use it, truly revolutionary. And it's revolutionary because it's not following the patterns of previous media revolutions or media transformations. Not quite like the story of print, not quite like the 19th century periodical revolutions and distribution, postal systems, telegraph, and what have you. Not like the 20th century media revolutions, mass broadcasting, and radio, cinema, television, internet, and so forth. The internet is part of the story with video games. The, the big difference is video games are a born digital art form. In fact, I would argue that their significance is that they are the first truly planetary art form human beings have created, and that comes with some consequences. And here's my thesis. Feel free to disagree, but this is what I've seen over the 15 years that I've studied video game culture very closely. Video games are the literature of the 8 billion. There are almost 8 billion of us on this planet, and there are immense inequalities and differences. Not all human beings can play the games. Not all the, of us have access to the video games, but that's okay, because access is coming. Uh, currently, 2.5 billion people are online. That number keeps going up every year in the hundreds of millions, which means in a couple years, it'll be 3 billion, 3.54, it'll go up. Within, the, by a decade from now, every human being will be online. That's coming really, really quickly. Um, and folks don't realize just how fast exponential world moves. It moves at the speed of exponential compound growth. And so things happen very, very fast. So what does that mean? What is the literature of the 8 billion? What it means is that this is an art form that is not controlled by large governments or large corporations the way that previous media revolutions and forms were always controlled on some level by. This is the first media revolution where power is in the hands of we the people. That is, pun intended, game changing. This is a game where we get to write the code ourselves. That's an immense power that transnational audiences can and are using in powerful, powerful ways to the point and this is a very advanced process in some of the largest scale video game productions in the, the AAA space, where you have very large, these huge franchises that sell hundreds of millions of dollars worth of, of product. And, and you might think, oh, well, they're just completely corporate controlled, right? Right? No, audiences have immense power over these franchises and push back and are increasingly co-producing even the largest scale of these productions. That said, some of the most interesting franchises are the smallest, small-scale productions, where you can see these new transnational production networks of a radically new kind, realizing a very old dream of human beings, and that is a kind of a collective media production, a collective cultural production where everyone pitches in and everyone gets something back from pitching in. Now, as to what that looks like in practice, Thanks for